Now let us say we have the following alphabets. We have summation is equal to x comma y. We have summation is equal to x comma y. Okay. Now I am saying language one L one is set of all strings of length exactly two. Which I have already taken this example. So this is set of all strings of length exactly two. Therefore the strings will be x x comma x y comma y x comma y y. Okay. So this is x x comma x y comma y x comma y y. That means these are all the strings which are possible over these two alphabets whose length is exactly two. Now if I say there is a language L two which is saying set of all strings of length less than or equal to 2 okay now this can also be written as w the length w such that length of w is less than or equal to 2 where w is representing the string here the first language l1 can also be written as w such that length of w is exactly 2 okay so here it is saying set of all strings of length less than or equal to 2 so what are the strings of length less than or equal to 2 they will be epsilon single x single y xx xy yx or yy fine now i am saying we have a language L3 which is set of all even length strings set of all even length strings over the alphabet x comma y fine then what are the strings which will be present here so what are the even length strings the length can be 0 right so it will be the lengths lengths can be 0 lengths can be 2 length can be 4 length can be 6 length can be 8 10 12 and so on that means we have 0 2 6 4 uh, and so on fine so what are the strings of length 0 it will be epsilon strings of length 2 it will be x x x y y x y y what are strings of length 4 it will be x x x and so on that means all the possible combinations so this language will be infinite and this language can also be written like this w w such that length of w mod 2 can be should be congruent to 0 mod 2 length of w mod 2 should be congruent to 0 mod 2 what does it mean it means there the string will be represented by w and this w will be in such a way that the length of w if we divide by 2 then whatever the remainder vh we are getting then remainder will be congruent to 0 mod 2 and here the remainder which we are getting is 0 so that means length of w mod 2 should be equivalent to 0 or you can say the even length strings because 0 mod 2 is 0 2 mod 2 is 0 4 mod 2 is 0 6 mod 2 is 0 but 1 mod 2 is 1 3 mod 2 is 1 and 5 mod 2 is 1 here that means we are going to get even length strings fine now let us say we have one more example one more language let us say the language l4 is set of all odd length strings strings fine set of all odd length strings so this set of all odd length strings can also be written like this w such that length of w mod 2 should be congruent to 1 mod 2 length of w mod 2 should be congruent to 1 mod 2 fine so what are the strings which will be present here it will be x y x x x x x y 
एक्स वाई एक्स एक्स वाई वाई एंड सो ऑन दैट मीन्स स्ट्रिंग्स विल बी ऑफ लेंथ वन थ्री फाइव सेवन नाइन एंड सो ऑन फाइन सो दीज आर द फोर लैंग्वेजेस विच वी हैव टू फाइंड इन दिस केस फाइन नॉ लेट एस टेक फ्यू मोर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस आई विल बी टेकिंग अप्रॉक्सिमेटली टेन टू फिफ्टीन एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस बाय द एंड यू विल इट विल बी क्लियर टू यू वट आर द लैंग्वेजेस एंड हाउ वी आर डिफाइनिंग द लैंग्वेजेस इन मैथमेटिकल वेनर और मैथमेटिकली फाइन ओके ना लेट एस से वी हैव समिशन इज इक्वल टू ए कॉमा बी दैट मीन्स वी आर डिफाइनिंग द स्ट्रिंग्स ऑफ द अल्फाबेट्स ए कॉमा बी एंड द लैंग्वेज इज एल वन इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू सच दैट डब्ल्यू मॉट थ्री should be congruent to 0 mod 3 then the second language is l2 which is w such that w mod 3 should be congruent to 2 mod 3 then let us say we have l3 is equal to w you can say w such that number of a's in the string w mod 2 should be congruent to 0 mod 2 let us suppose we have these three languages okay now in the language l1 let us see what are the strings which are present so what is this language l1 language l1 is saying every string if there's a string then it should satisfy this condition and what is this condition this condition is saying if we divide the length of a string by 3 then whatever the remainder which you are going to get that remainder should be congruent to this remainder that means if we divide the length of the string by 3 then remainder should be 0 because 0 mod 3 is 0 fine so what are the lengths will be there in that case it will be containing length 0 it will be containing length 3 it will be containing length 6 it will be containing length 9 and so on that means all the multiples of 3 so what are the strings which will be present here so what are the strings of length 3 in this case strings of length 3 will be a a a a a b a b a a b b and so on then it will be containing strings of length 6 strings of length 6 then it will be containing strings of length Nine and so on, and it will also be containing strings of length zero. That means it will also be containing epsilon. Fine. Now, if I take this string, now what does it mean? It mean if you divide the length of the string by three, then whatever the remainder you are going to get, that remainder should be congruent to two mod three. That means the remainder should be equivalent to two only. Two mod three is two. what does it mean it mean let us suppose if we have the length 2 now if i do 2 mod 3 then we are going to get remainder as 2 if i have the length 5 if i do length 5 mod 3 then we are going to get remainder as 2 if we are going to do 8 mod 3 then we are going to get the remainder 2 if i we are going to do 11 mod 3 then we are going to get remainder 2 and so on right that means the length of the strings which will be containing here that length will be 2 5 8 11 14 and so on so what are the strings of length 2 strings of length 2 will be a a a b b a b b what will be the strings of length 5 strings of length 5 will be a a a a a and so on right now if i take this language now in this language what we are saying it is number of a in w mod 2 should be congruent to 0 mod 2 that means whatever the number of alphabet a is in in the string w that should be uh, if i divide that length by 2 then it should be equal to 0 mod 2 okay so that means if i say what can the number of a it can be 0 2 4 6 and so on right so if i say we have zero a's then epsilon epsilon is containing zero a's single b is containing zero a's double b is containing zero a's triple b is containing zero a's four times b is containing zero a's and so on if we have only b's that is containing zero a's fine a part of this we can have two a's so 
here we have two a's 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 see here it does not matter what is the position of b or what is the position of a we are just counting what are the number of a's fine then here we have two a's here we have two a's here we have two a's and so on see the, there can be any number of b's number of a should be even number of a can be 0 2 4 6 8 and so on so these are the three examples of some of the strings which are mathematically defined okay now in the next video let us take few more examples of the strings which are mathematically defined